Yes, so this is Ujjal Kumar Sen and in this video taught 12 we are going to learn about wheeling of shaft. Okay, so I hope you know but uh, this what is wheeling of shaft and all that probably you know or maybe you don't know I don't know about that. But yes, through this video taught 12 you are going to learn about how to solve numerical problems for this topic in the gate examination. Alright. So in this topic, I'm going to, I mean in this video total, I'm going to share with you exactly what is happening, what you require to solve numerical problems, right? So first of all, you required formula. Okay, so formula play most important role uh, for solving numerical problems, especially numericals, not theoretical, right? Theoretical problems, okay, if you know the uh, know about the basic of the concept, you can write. Suppose that we have a shaft here, okay, and the shaft because of shaft, because of a shaft, I mean, uh, if shaft is moving, and because of its it is moving, and because of its vibration, there would be a little bit deflection, or maybe you can say because of vibration, it will yeah it will deflect from its axis. Suppose that it is deflecting from its axis, that is y distance, okay. So we know that y is equal to e by omega n natural frequency by frequency whole square minus 1 and the formula I mean the question asking gate which just I am going to share with you in that question the use of this formula is nothing so what formula they have used that is omega n is equal to root under g by delta in general what we know the find to find out natural frequency that is omega is equal to root under k by m to find out this omega or to find the natural frequency we know that omega n is equal to uh, sorry f n is equal to k m we know that we know this right so the formula we need to know to find out Wheeling of shaft numerical which has been asked in gate previous year that one formula not this one not even this one not even this one all right sounds cool now one another thing we need to know angular velocity is omega is equal to 2 pi n divided by 60 this n is known as revolution per minute of the shaft of anything for what you are finding out okay so this is about the all important formulas of wheeling of shaft. Now let's go for that problem. Probably because of that you have been watching this video, right? So let's go for that problem. So here is the problem. So in this problem, this is a numerical problem which has been asked in gate. And probably you can definitely read what is written in the question, right? So let me share with you what is written exactly in the question. So in this question it is written that a rotor shaft of a large electric motor supported between short bearings at both ends okay so suppose that it is supported in both ends okay both end support okay and its deflection shows its deflection shows 1.8 mm in middle of the motor Assuming rotor to be perfectly balanced and supported at knife edges at both ends, okay, like uh, likely critical speed of the shaft. So what we have to find out critical speed and again in RPM of the shaft. So this shaft critical speed we have to find out. So data given in this question that is delta is equal to 1.8 mm. The single data given in the question and we have to find out n is equal to what what is the value of n we have to find out now let's review again those formulas what formulas I have shared with you in this video taught well these are the formulas so these are the formulas related formulas related to wheeling of shaft so can you guess which formula is uh, which formula can help us to find out the answer only one formula here and another formula is here how let me share with you basically we know that omega is equal to g by delta but omega equal to again we know that 2 pi n divided 60 we'll put the value g that is uh, acceleration into gravity we know that delta 
and we have to find out n that means we have everything perfect in this numerical problem just we need to go for it and solve it then we will get answer so why i said i said in the beginning of the video formula is most important to solve numerical problems doesn't matter uh, for which examination you are preparing if you are preparing for numerical point for bu then we have to learn formula as well as relation between formulas we have to learn that's why you know this relation i usually talk my video taught well because relation without making relation in between formulas you cannot solve i mean it's really difficult to solve gate i mean gate problems right problems related to gate so let's go for it now what we got here 2 pi n divided 60 is equal to 2 pi n divided 60 is equal to g by delta so what 9.81 divided by how much value is 1.88 right and we'll find out n is equal to what wrong approach if you are thinking like this you cannot solve this problem right away because we have to see also unit without checking unit don't solve even single numerical problem before going to solve the problem check unit because its acceleration due to gravity unit 9.81 meter per second square in SI this is in mm this is not given in SI so we have to convert it into SI so what we have to do we have to multiple this uh, now this number in multiple 10 to the power minus 3 to convert into SI so what we have to do 9.81 1.8 multiple 10 to the power minus 3 right then only we can able to get right answer is equal to what we have 2 pi n divided 60 right so what we require right now calculator right 9.81 divided 1.8 multiple 10 to the power minus 3 uh, yeah so we have to get its root this much so this is how much we are getting 73.8241 is equal to 2 pi n divided 60 we have to send this 60 to this side and this one cross multiplication we are doing are simple you know it's a simple problem right so 73.8241 multiple 60 divided by 2 pi is equal to n so multiple 60 divided 2 multiple pi is equal to how much value exactly we are getting 704.96 rpm is equal to m okay now check the answer which are, which is the right answer for, among the option can you guess which one is the right answer among the option that is c c is the right answer for this question well i have shared with you this single question only and this question has been asked in gate previous year paper hope you understand the question right now let me tell you a few other things about this okay so if you are preparing for preparing for gate examination this is this is the thing you require but if you are preparing for you know university examination then theory is also important you need to learn you need to learn what is basically wheeling of shaft okay that is also important but here what is delta basically it is deflection that is also shared in the question and it's a deflection what type of deflection it is a static deflection right so how you can remember this thing for little long time solve solve problems just watching my videos can help you to understand basic concept and you will come to know oh yes i can solve the problem but whenever you will have only nothing just have pen and paper to solve a question you will have question pen paper and of course a calculator online calculator that feeling is different than here then watching videos for i mean solve videos okay so this is about a uh, willing of shot and of course it is known as uh, i mean it is it is also uh, sometimes called uh, sometimes we have uh, uh, heard that willing of shot is most important right so willing of shot is really helpful for us 
I mean study of wheeling shaft is also important in uh, for any machine okay so this is to avoid failure so this is all about wheeling of shaft thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye